Hi guys, this is Math 6, Lesson 5-10. This is the last lesson for this topic. And it's about relating customary and metric units. So we're going to go back and forth, converting um, between the customary and metric units. Fine. Let's look at explain it. Um, Gianna and her friends are in a relay race. They have a pail that holds one liter of water. Okay, this one holds one liter. They need to fill in the one liter pail, run 50 yards, and dump the water into the large bucket until it overflows, which is, uh, as you can see, two gallons. Gianna says that as long as they did not spill any of the water, they'll need seven trips with the one liter pail before the large bucket overflows. Is that right? So we have a chart that shows units of capacity conversion chart for um, metric versus um, customary. So there's a squiggly line, which means it's about this much. It's not exactly equal to. Okay. Um, a lot of times metric to customary and customary to metric would be uh, an estimation. Um, because they're not going to exactly equal to a good whole number. Okay, one gallon is about 3.79 liters, and that's fine if you just use 3.79 instead of all the digits that's supposed to be there. Okay, just use the digits that you have in the chart um, and so on. So uh, which conversion factor could you use to determine whether Jonah is correct? You could actually have two ways, right? What's one way? First, you want to get you want a conversion factor that has gallons and liters, but it depends which unit you want um, it to equal to one, right? Which unit you want to start with? So you could say, oh, I'm going to start with gallons two gallons times one gallon uh, per 8.79 liter. Wait, is it 8.79? No, 3.79, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, you can either use this or what can you use? Is, it's the same thing, but you can also start with one liter, but use the conversion unit of one gallon per 3.79 liters, right? So you're going to use the same rate, but you can use a different conversion unit depending on where you're starting from. Are you converting liters to gallons or gallons to liters, okay? If you're doing gallons to liters, you're going to figure out how many liters would two gallons be and see um, how many liters one liter would, would it fit. If you're doing one liter to gallons, if you're thinking about how many gallons would this bucket be, and then you want to think about how many of that thing, that answer, would go into two gallons. So you're still going to get the same answer, but it's a different way of thinking, okay? All right, so part B, critic reasoning. Jonah's friend, Linus, says that you cannot be certain how many trips it'll take because the conversion is approximate. Is Liana's reasoning appropriate? Can you really tell? If it's not equal to, well, just because it's not totally equal to doesn't mean you can't have an estimate, right? That's still close estimate. So if you think about, oh, uh, it's gonna be about this much, then you, you could still say, oh, I'm gonna need at least this many trips. So even though the answer is approximate, it's still very close to the actual amount. So you still determine if it's enough or not. All right, part C. Is Jana correct that seven trips are needed before the bucket overflows? Let's 
actually check that, right? If not, how many trips would it take? Use the table to justify your answer. Okay, so use the table of um, the conversion chart. You're gonna actually convert this, okay? So if you're using two gallons, two, uh, two liters, you're gonna multiply 3.79, all right, two, and that's about what? That's gonna be seven point five eight, seven point five eight liters. And seven point five eight liters would be seven buckets and a little bit more than half. So would seven trips be enough? Well, you'll only have seven liters after seven trips, right? So, oh, you still need to go back one more time to overflow because that's your goal. You, they don't spill it at the water. Um, they still do have to go one more trip uh, because the large bucket needs to overflow, not, not just be close enough. It needs to overflow, okay? Which means the water needs to be more than full. So is it is it correct? No. Um, two gallons is approximately seven point five eight liters. So you need eight trips to have the bucket overflow. Okay. All right, Morgan says that four liters is less than one gallon. Um, construct an argument to show that Morgan is incorrect. Is four liters less than one, one gallon, okay? So let's convert either four liters to gallons or one gallon to liters, right? One gallon is 3.79 liters. We already know that. One gallon is approximately 3.79 liters. Is four liters less than that? No, it's greater than that. So just by looking at the conversion unit, you know that she's not right. So you can say one gallon is approximately 3.79 liters and 3.79 liters is less than four liters. So four liters is greater than, not less than. Okay, so how can you use ratios com to convert customary and metric units of measure? Let's see. Example one, convert from metric units to customary units. Terrell is using a kit to build a robot. The directions use metric units and describe um, the robot's heights as two meters tall. How many, about how many inches is two meters? Round to the nearest 10. So we know that the robot is going to be two meters, but we want to figure out how many inches that would be because in the States, you talk about feet and inches whenever you talk about height. So we're going to convert that so that it's easier for um, people who are more comfortable in, in uh, uh, customary units to understand. Okay. One meter is approximately 39.37 inches. So you're going to use that to figure out two meters. Right? So one way you can use the ratio, another way you can use dimensional analysis. You're basically going to multiply uh, 39.37 by two because one meter is half of two meters, right? So uh, that's going to be about 78.7 inches. So 
So let's try this question by ourselves. See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Jacob is building a robot named T3X that is 75 inches tall to the nearest tenth. That means uh, the first decimal place. How many centimeters tall is T3X? So you want to convert 75 inches to centimeters. We're going to use um, the dimensional analysis here. Well, you know that one inches would be how many centimeters? 2.54. So that's about 2.54. And then you're going to multiply that by 75. Because 2.54 centimeters over one inches would be your conversion unit. 75 times 2.54 is about 190.5. So it's about 190.5 centimeters tall. If you want to find the height of P3 X in meters, will you get the same answer if you convert inches to centimeters and then centimeters to meters? as you would if you convert inches to feet and then feet to meters. So it sounds more complicated than it actually is. But does it matter if you start with inches and then, you know, uh, and then to centimeters and centimeters to meters? Or if you convert inches to feet and then feet to meters? Well, they're approximately, they should approximately the same. It's not like, oh, this ratio is, does not work when we use this ratio. They're all connected, right? So um, feed is a certain measurement. Meter is a certain measurement. So they all need to be comparatively the same um, compared compare to other ratios as well, right? So the, uh, we can say that the convergence are approximately the same. And because they're, they're approximately the same and the conversion from inches to centimeters is exact, uh, the answers will be slightly different, but they're gonna be close enough. Okay, let's go to example two convert from customary units to metric units. So we're gonna start from customary units, like centimeters and meters, and then we're gonna, wait, customary units, like ounces in uh, pounds, and then convert it to metric units, centimeters and meters and kilograms and liters and everything, okay? Um, example two, Janice Alaskan Husky weighs 21 pounds. What is her Husky's approximate weight in kilograms? Round to the nearest, so here's a chart of um, unit metric unit equivalents. Um, when relating customary metric units, use what you know about converting within one measurement system. So you're going to use dimensional analysis starting from the pound, 21 pound. And how many kilograms would be one pound? Well, you really don't know just from looking at this, right? So you want to know how many pounds would be equal to kilograms. Well, think about, oh wait, there is, there is a measurement here. Okay, if there's not, you're gonna use the information you know um, to convert, find the conversion factor, but we do, we do know. So here, we're gonna use one kilograms per 2.2 pounds and um, cancel out pounds, divide 21 by 2.2 to get about 9.5 kilograms. So it's gonna weigh about 9.5 kilograms. What about converted, uh, converting using two steps? So what if you don't have something in the chart? So for example, Deva drank all the water in her bottle. How many cups of water did she drink? Round to the nearest tenth. So this drink says 0 0.75 liters. What is that in cups? Do we have how many cups to how many liters? Well, we got gallons, quarters to liters. 
um, but we don't really have carbs. So I said that carbs would be represented as C. So you want to figure out um, how many carbs would be in liters, right? How can you use that? Well, use the information you have here. You know that um, quarter, let's do quarter because we have a quarter to liters and you can use quarter to, wait, that's point. What can we use? Uh, there's a cup to pint. Yeah, so we might have to use three conversion units in order to figure out one conversion factor, okay? So we can use the information that one pint is equal to two cups and one quarter is equal to two pints. And using that, we can say, we can also use one quarter is about 0 0.95 liters to see how many cups would there be in one liter. Okay, so step one, you're going to figure out um, how many cups would be in one liter using uh, these measurements. You can say, oh, 0 0.5 liters times Well, this is just one method. So you can convert 0 0.75 to quarts first, and then use that to convert into cups, because one quart would be four cups, because one quart is two pint, one pint is two cups. So one quart would be four cups. And so using that, you can convert first, uh, first convert liters to quart, and then quart to cups, and you have cups now. So one liter would be, uh, wait, 0 0.75 liter would be about 3.18 cups. To the nearest tenth, it would be about 3.2 cups, okay? If you round it up, you're going to get 3.2. Tenth would be one decimal place. So let's see if you could do this try by yourself. Find the length of a 100 yard football field in meters. Use one yard equals three feet and one meter is approximately 3.28 feet, round to the nearest tenth. See if you can do it by yourself. Come back when you're ready. Okay, one method, you can convert yard to feet and then feet to meters, just like we did in the example. Or you can find one conversion factor that says how many yards would there, uh, how many meters would there be in the yard, okay? But since we looked at this example, let's convert one by one. So 100 yard, if you want to convert, oh, feet is not gonna go down. You want to cancel out yards, so put yard down, feet up, one yard is equal to three feet. 100 times three is 300 feet. And you're going to multiply 300 feet by another conversion factor. 3.28 feet is about one meter. And then you divide 300 by 3.28, and that's about 91.5 meters. So that's going to be about 91.5 meters. All right, that was the last lesson of this topic, relating customary and metric units. Now you know how to convert between customary and metric units as well. Great job guys for learning this um, and to wrap up the topic, we learned about ratio, equivalent ratios, unit measurements, um, and customary and metric units and conversion factors. A lot of fractions, but make sure you know which variable is the missing piece and find the information that you need for the missing piece. 
All right, that was topic five. Thanks for um, thanks for listening. We'll continue with the next topic and the next videos. Bye, great job guys.